David Pyle. It's November 26, 2017, and I'm out here on Glenn Harrison's boat, missionsleep.net, and he's taking me um, trout fishing at Hag Lake. So, uh, Glenn, why don't you tell us what you're using out here and how we're going to get fished today? Well, hopefully the ticket will be the uh, Tasmanian Devil. The lure I picked up a couple years ago at the Sportsman Show. I found it to be really successful for trout. It'll be about a four or five foot leader, and then I'm just running a small one and a quarter ounce keel sinker, keel, keel sinker just to get it down a little bit, a little bit below the surface. And uh, hopefully some of these trout will think that it's enticing enough to hit. On the other one, we have a small imitation crawfish, which I uh, found out years ago works really, really well for trout. A lot of people don't use it, but it can be very effective. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so watch the video, and uh, hopefully we have some fish to show you. And we'll see you next time on Fishing with David Pyle. That's a big one. He's surfing in. He's a huge fish. He's surfing well, in. Well, that looked big, didn't it? The crawdad got one. Yep. Okay, so we're starting to see a bite here. We've just got two fish in the past couple of minutes. Oh, oh, we popped. Dang it. Get it, Glenn, get it. Just watch our uh, boat. Where's it at? Right here. Yep, he's not jumping. Here he comes. Look at the net. Yeah. This is a good fit. Look at the net. Ready? Ready? Yeah. And there we go. Another nice little trout. Good right. one. You want to take care of the feather trout. Where he's is there, he's there, he's there. Where? Right there, that rock. Check it out. Little guy. Ankle biter. Throw this little guy back. Get him, get him. He's gone. He's gone. Look, oh, he's, he's there. there. Get him, get him, get him. That's a better fish. Nice one. Nice. This is a Tasmanian deal. Oh, that's on the, the crawdad. Nice. Okay, Glenn threw a Ford Fender on this back corner. My buddies are out here using it, and they were doing really well with it. So we thought we'd throw one on, and it's been hammered three times in probably the last five minutes. So. Um, this rod right here on the corner has really been money for us. We're hopefully uh, get a video of it, catch another fish in a minute. There it is. Already we got one. Go ahead. So that took all of about, I don't know, two, three minutes. We got a fish on. Uh oh, did I lose him? I lost him. Dang it. Stop that video. 
Ooh, good one. Nice fish. So this one didn't come on a Ford Fender, but I wouldn't doubt it if it catches one while we're reeling this one in. I just take no time at all. Get the net. Oh, shoot, I'm hooked on something here. There we go. Nice fish. So we're picking up some nice little trout right now. All right. So Captain Glenn, Gonna bring home number 10, and then we're done for the day. Is it a little guy? Yeah, he'll keep. I think there's a fish on the, uh... You think there's one on this too? There should be. Oh, that's what the problem was. We were hooked up. Whoa! That's a, yeah, that's a keep. That might be number 10 for us. Okay, here's our take for the day. Glenn and I got 10 fish. Um, I have to thank him for hosting me today on his boat. It was an awesome time. And um, we use a whole variety of things, the Ford Fender and uh, Tasmania Devils, a blue one and a red one. And what did you call some of the other things? Crawdads or? Crawdad imitation, yeah, the Wee Craw from, from Rapala. So all that stuff got, every rod got hit. Every piece of gear we threw out got hit. So um, had a great day. And uh, again, thank you, Glenn. We'll see you next time on Fishing with David Pyle.